How's it going guys? In this video, we're gonna be doing some toy photography with this awesome 112 scale diorama. So this diorama is freaking awesome. It's made by an artist named Landspeeder Luke. He's a really great guy. He designs and 3D prints this stuff. Dioramas, props, vehicles, pieces, a huge array of Star Wars inspired stuff that's perfect for your toy photography, your displays, your black series, whatever Star Wars collecting you're into. So if you're already someone who 3D prints things, awesome. He's got a Patreon where he has all of his designs available for you to download and print yourself, which is awesome. But if you're not already a 3D printer, like myself, uh, you can always reach out to him and you can just get these dioramas as is, just like this one is. Definitely check out Landspeeder Luke on Instagram. He's got a fantastic YouTube channel. And if you want to join his Patreon too, please do if you want to print some of this stuff for yourself. So let's just get into this awesome diorama and also just some tips on how to shoot with dioramas and things that I like to do. This thing is so awesome. There are thousands and millions of different combinations and possibilities you could do with this thing. It's even got little holes here at the top so you can stick some lights there. Um, and yeah, like if you're looking at it from the naked eye here like this, uh, it just kind of looks like a diorama, but in camera, the thing it looks like Luke Skywalker is chilling in a cave checking out his blue lightsaber for the first time you know it's amazing so it's got these two major pieces one and two and then some of these pillars right here which are awesome and a bunch of little rocks here to put there as well which you know it's all in different pieces which does give you opportunities to make different combinations of stuff which is awesome so right now I've kind of got it set up where one is in front and then the one in the back has kind of like this wide open space here where I can put my light there, which is really cool because it creates some really cool atmosphere in the back and the lighting looks cool. So that's just one of the many different possible combinations you can do with this. So right now, I think I'm good with this. I'm gonna go and actually take my photo. So I'm gonna give just a little bit of atmosphere aerosol to this thing and I'm gonna take this shot as is. So for my camera, I always keep my ISO pretty low, just in general all the time. So 400 was pretty good. And I'm not really using any moving elements or anything in my photo. So my shutter speed wasn't high, very high at all. And so my f-stop, I kept very low at f1.8. That's something I can do with this lens. But I really enjoy the low f-stop because it really makes the subject of the photo with Luke very, very in focus. And then the rest kind of out of focus, but still the diorama is so incredibly complimentary and beautiful that even though it's kind of out of focus, it really makes you immersed fully in the photo and it matches, it's the right scale as the figure. And that's kind of the beauty of using a diorama. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and set this guy up in some other variation to get a whole nother scene with just the same diorama. This thing has so many different options you can do with it. Okay, so now what I did was I stacked up these two big main pieces on top of each other to create this kind of tall, almost like a well kind of long cave thing. So I took these other little rocks that uh, are in the diorama and I used some wooden skewers and some sticky tack and I stuck them up to make it look like little Grogu's floating the rocks. Guy back here actually fell back a little bit, but he was standing with the sticky tack for a while. Hi Venom. Yeah, I'm actually able to create a really cool, tall canyon-like thing. So it's completely transformed the diorama. And I put some of these up in the foreground, this and this. I kept the same exact settings that I had before on my camera. Uh, and I used some of the lights up top on here to go through so I can get some overhead lighting on here. And then some over on the sides too. So the, uh, the rocks and Grogu is also backlit a little bit. Uh, and it came out great. Uh, I'm, I can't believe how awesome this, this thing is. <laughs> Look how cool this shot came out. So yeah, that's awesome, but let's say like you don't have that many lights. And like, Jared, I don't have that many loom cubes like you do. How am I gonna get that lighting like that? So you know what? There's free lighting in the sun outside. So let's see if we can take this thing outside and get some cool outdoor lighting and see how that works. 
Okay, so I'm all outside now, and I kind of just set things up here. It's kind of an overcast day outside, which is kind of cool. So let me just show you how I got things set up. So we've got two sand troopers over here on Tatooine. Got some stuff in the foreground over here, rocks and some of these, which is kind of working out nicely here. And uh, I flipped the, these things over. So actually they were able to get the sunlight from above here. And actually what's really cool about this is now it doesn't really look so much like a cave. It's actually kind of looking more like a rocky outside area on Tatooine, if you know what I mean. Not like inside of a cave, but like near one, which is cool because it kind of totally changes the look of it. So I'm liking this shot just as is. Yeah, here's how it came out. Okay, so now that I'm outside, I really want to try something. And Mr. My friend, Landspeeder Luke, dude, I hope you don't mind this, but I really want to use a firework. I want to set things up to the point where I can set a firework off to the side, still get some sparks in and see how that looks in the photo. Um, and <laughs> I got an idea. I don't think it's going to really damage anything, but uh, let's check afterwards. But I think this is going to be really cool. Okay, so I got it set up. <laughs> uh, so we got two stormtroopers running away. Just like this, I got a couple of the loom cubes back in here because I needed a little more lighting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the firework over here. So hopefully the explosion will kind of go through the back here and through over there. You know, these types of fireworks are quick. That's it. I don't think anything's gonna get damaged, um, but I just really wanna try it out because I think it might look cool. I'm gonna actually, I also changed my camera because my battery died on my other camera. And I ended up adding a couple more loom cubes in here as well, just because I needed a little more lighting. Whenever I'm using fireworks, I have a faster shutter speed, which is making things a little bit darker. So that's why there's some extra lights in here, even though I'm outside with the natural lighting. I'm just gonna light this thing, take the photo, and we'll see what happens. Okay, post firework, what do we got here? On the back, you can see a tiny little bit of that gray from the smoke, but that just wipes right off. Yeah, so that's nothing. So that's really great. And so on the inside of this one, I think we're looking pretty good. I don't see anything, so <laughs> no damage. So awesome, yes. So huge thank you and shout out to Landspeeder Luke for sending me this diorama. I had a blast shooting this. I'm definitely going to have this set up at Toys in Action in 2023 next year. I'm definitely going to do that. That's awesome. So I'll have all of Landspeeder Luke's information linked below in the description. If you're a 3D printer, subscribe to his Patreon to get all of those files. And if you want some of this stuff, reach out to him. He's got a fantastic YouTube channel. Also, just make sure to follow all of his socials below. And as well, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like the video. That would be fantastic. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.